Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Yanni. And today I am getting ready to go ahead and pick up my mom and take her out to dinner. So I figured why not film a look. I already got my brows on, I already carved them out because I'm gonna do a little bit more of a possible full coverage kind of look. We're gonna go out to dinner, we're gonna chit chat, we're gonna talk. Um, I was supposed to take her out for her birthday, but I was working, she was off, so we decided to do it on my day off, take her out for early dinner. So yes, so if you're interested in seeing the look that I create, um, I don't know if it's going to be like crazy crazy on the eyes, but I'm going to get a snack, grab a bottle of water, because you know, we're still trying to get healthy, especially now because I did gain some weight, <laughs> and keep on watching. Okay, so I just primed my eyelids with the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. Um, on my lids. I'm not gonna set them. I know, so crazy. But um, I didn't feel like setting them today. Let's see how this works. I usually set them with the translucent powder, but whatever. We're gonna go ahead and go in with the ColourPop and I Love Sarai collaboration in Through My Eyes. I love this palette. I already used it once. Super, super pretty. As you can see. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go into the color Sandalwood and maybe I'll use that to set just because I can. And I've been using my Real Technique brushes. So this is the domed shadow brush. I'm gonna be wearing like a burgundy kind of color, burgundy kind of color dress. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is this is the essential crease brush from Real Techniques, and I'm gonna go into the color Nostalgia. I'm gonna run that in my crease. I think I'm gonna just do a half cut crease. Something super easy. You guys know I love to bring my wing out. I don't know why, but I just really like that shape for my eye. Just elongates the eye. So how have you guys been? I've been okay. It's been super crazy at work because I was gone for two weeks and we got a bunch of product in and freight and new sets and it's been crazy so I've been trying to play catch up at work which has been kind of stressful because all I ever hear is hey you got freight hey you got freight hey you got freight yeah I know I know I have freight I know but I can only do but so much and I'm trying not to let it get me overwhelmed like it did last year when I first took over the position at my job last year was super stressful i had no training i didn't know what i was doing new department new everything new department new position uh it was just a lot all at the same time so yeah trying not to let it get to me because you know what i can only do but so much and right now it is only me in the department just like it was last year because the other girl that i had there um cody she was there, she came in close to Black Friday. So I did all of the crazy sets and everything that I'm doing right now by myself and it was super, super stressful. I did have one manager there with me for like a week and a half that helped me. I'm not saying that the managers aren't helping me right now, but there's just a chaos all over the store because of course it's the holiday season. So it's not fun at all, but we're managing. I think I did quite enough of that nostalgia color I'm gonna go ahead and go into the color, this one right here, Divina. And I'm gonna be really light, same brush. I'm gonna be really light with this color because this these are very pigmented. And I'm going to take this like right on the outer outer V. And just kind of like just build it there. So yeah, it's been kind of chaotic at work. Um, right now, it's a boring time for beauty because everybody wants to just go in and play with the new stuff. I have to set all the new stuff. So, you know, that's that's where all the 
you know, people want to bow out because, you know, that's the work. That's the workload right now. And, and people just want to play with, like, with makeup. And I get it because I want to play with makeup all day too. But that's not the only um, part of the job. You know, we do have to get product out. We do have to, you know, set our floors and things like that. Um, we do have an overwhelming, and I do mean overwhelming, um, amount of product because they send me a ton of stuff that we hardly use um, throughout the year. It's just stuff for like the holiday. I'm cleaning off that brush, that same brush from that color, and then I'm going to go back into nostalgia, and I'm just going to kind of fix this eye. I feel like this eye is just not working the way the other eye is. I'm just going really lightly on here. One eye is always better than the other. How is that possible? I don't know, but I guess it's the amount of pressure and the weight. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, so I cut my crease. Um, one always comes out better than the other, and I can tell you one eye better than the other. So I am actually am going to go in to the color Lucida with my ring finger and I'm going to go ahead and press that right on my lid. It's such a pretty gold color. I love ColourPop and their shadows and their colors and uh, it's amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. It's just so reflective and so, oh, love it. How pretty, oh, love it. Um, just to kind of mesh the deeper tone with the gold color, because you can see that it's there, I'm gonna take this color Muse and I'm gonna go like right in between. to see if it'll mesh a little bit better. Oh, that's so pretty. It's just like two shades deeper than that and I'm kind of like smudging it like pressing it in between both those colors like the Divina color and the Lucido color it's so pretty I am gonna go ahead and go in with this brush and I'm gonna go ahead and go into Divina again and I'm gonna go really lightly and just kind of run it right on top just a little bit So it looks like a really smooth transition. Oh, that looks perfect. Sometimes I have really good makeup days and other times it's like, oh, it's passable. <laughs> Look at that, beautiful, okay, awesome. So. Again, cleaning off that same brush because I have to clean some brushes. I mean, I don't want to grab my other brushes, but so I'm going to go into nostalgia one more time. And just because I want to make sure that this is nice, I'm going super duper light and I'm kind of like making sure color come in here. Same thing over here. Just gonna, making sure that the crease is nice. And blended so there's no harsh lines we are gonna go in with winged liner because it wouldn't be me if I didn't have winged liner on right so I've been going back to oldie but goodie I've been using the super lash eyeliner the super last 
eyeliner from Essence um, in matte black because I love it. It just dries on super black. And then I have been going in with the super precise eyeliner, which is long wearing and waterproof. It's also from Essence. So I've been using both of them on my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner and I will be right back. Okay, my eyeliner is on and I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and put on my fake lashes. These are the Huda Beauty Coco Joe number four lashes. learned that trick from like the flipping to so while my lash is drying I'm gonna use my Il Maquillage mascara and I have been liking this mascara a lot lately I love the wand because it's so short and it could get like right in there and it doesn't get like everywhere but yeah I'm excited to spend some time with my mom because I have a lot to talk to her about. There's a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. I'm hoping that my husband gets some good news today. As far as, you know, we're waiting on a job offer for him. So there's that. I need to talk to my mom about that. She's not gonna be too, too happy. Okay, a billion years later, I got lashes on, and for me, they look a little weird, but whatever. I don't know what's going on, but we got them on nonetheless. Let's move on to the face. We are going to go ahead and spray. With the Bear With Me setting, or Prime Set and Refresh spray. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. You guys know this is my obsession. Going in. And I got like 30 minutes before I have to pick up my mom and I'm like not even finished. This is like my favorite primer. It's just so good, you know? Yes. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with mm, foundation. I'm using the BH Cosmetics um, Naturally Flawless Foundation, like this. And I'm gonna wet my sponge, be right back. Okay, I'm gonna take like three pumps. One, two, three. This is like a little bit thicker formula I want to say but I like that it makes me look really really natural I didn't spot conceal I have some acne scarring yet again over there I always get it I hate that see and it's just like my skin but better you can still see like some of my freckles and my birthmarks or beauty marks or whatever they call them it's kind of just like evening out my skin a little bit sorry my mirror is not here and it's almost November here in Florida and it's like hella hot still like hella hot I'm like, where is winter? Where is the cooler weather? Obviously not here. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with my hair. I'm probably gonna do a mom bun, like I always do. But whatever, we'll see what happens. All right. All right, we're gonna go in with concealer. Concealer, I'm gonna be using that total coverage concealer, which is super full coverage. So I'm just gonna dab Whoa, that was a lot. Um, gonna swipe some of that right here. Here, that's a lot. I didn't mean for so much to come out. 
wherever needed to be covered will definitely be covered. Holy macaroni. I just put a little tiny bit of pressure and all that came out. That's some crazy shit. Okay, let's blend this crap out. Man, is that a hella full coverage concealer? Coñazo. All right, we are gonna go ahead and go in with our Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder because, man, that's a lot of concealer. I'm scared that it's gonna super crease on me. I put just a tad bit too much. I'm gonna go in with the other side of my sponge and I'm going to lightly like I'm gonna set this I'm like holy shit like that covered definitely total coverage like total I'm just taking like the excess and kind of just powdering it everywhere because I know I'm supposed to have like a natural finish, but man, holy, holy. All right, let that sit for like a second and then I'm going to brush it off like as quick as I can because... We're gonna go ahead and go in to the lower lash line and do my brows. So I'm gonna go in with the Gimme Brow number three brow gel. I'm gonna go ahead and fluff up now that I took all that powder off. Done. and now into the lower lash line so I'm gonna go ahead and take my smudge brush and I'm gonna go ahead and go in to the color nostalgia and run that on the lower lash And just kind of do the same thing I did on top. So I'm running nostalgia on the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go into Divina, same brush. And I'm just gonna take that right here, the outer portion. And sweep that right in here to connect. I am gonna go in with a liner from Essence. This is the Berry Mary Long Lasting Eye Pencil. For the tight line, I am gonna go in. I have this other Essence extreme lasting eye pencil and this is waterproof this is in the color black midnight sky i'm just going to run that in my tight line almost lifted my lash all right eyes are pretty much done i'm going to go ahead and bronze up my skin and highlight Bleach. I'm using the e.l.f. Natural Total Face Palette. And it has just enough pigment. So pretty. I'm 
I'm so busy using so many of my new stuff. I always forget about my old Eva goodies. This is such a good little like everyday palette. Gotta get rid of this double chin. Mm. It'll go away, I promise. Now we're gonna go into the blush. I like mixing both of these blushes just because one is a little bit peachy, the other one's a little pinky. And I just kind of go on my apples right there. So pretty. Mm. Very nice. Now, for highlighter, I am going to use a different highlighter. I'm not going to use the highlighter in here. Let me go grab it. Okay, I decided to put on my dress and do my hair. It's not cooperating. It must be super humid outside because I had to put a ton of hairspray, which I really didn't want to do, but whatever. If you're wondering where I got this dress, I got it from Kohl's. It is a JLo dress. I know I live in Florida and I have long sleeves on, but the restaurant is cold. Whatever. And it's a dress, so I'm probably going to freeze my ass. Nonetheless, we are going to spray our face because we're going to get ready to do highlight. spray the fan and I chose to use my Fenty hustle baby hustler baby highlighter I love this little highlighter so I'm gonna take this on a little brush we are going to do the inner corners Bravo. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques brush and Cupid's bow, tip of the nose, and then cheekbones. Look at that. When I want to make a statement, I definitely put this on. A little bit right here, and a little bit right here. Yay! Okay, so for lips, I'm going to go in with the Rimmel London Exaggerate Lip Co Lip Liner, and this is in the color Obsession. And then I'm going to use the ColourPop Luxe Lip in the number, or the color 27. Okay, line my lips. We usually don't do bold eyes, bold lips, but we're going to go with it. And this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed, you know, chit-chatting with me, kind of getting ready with me. I have to go pick up my mom because I'm running super behind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload videos, which is three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, you know, if life permits. I appreciate all the love and the support. I hope you guys recreate this or, you know, dip into a lot of the stuff that I use because I love these products. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and the support. And now I've got to go. <laughs> I'll see all you beauties in my next video.